And now, today's adventure of Outer Scope 1, Mamavec Makes an Offer. We're still on Technivec, and Edgar is trying to see what makes the machines work. You're making a big mistake. We were about to give you directions. I know you're in here. Where are you? Edgar! Edgar! Are you all right? Wake up! Edgar, wake up! Wake up! Come on, Edgar! I can't hear anything. He doesn't seem to be breathing. Please, Edgar, wake up. I'll give you my bike. Oh, no. You don't suppose he's passed away, do you? Poor Edgar. Look, Betty's waking him up. He's alive. Oh, where am I? You're in Technovec, remember? The place with all the machines? Oh, yeah, I remember. I unscrewed that big machine, that... Mama Vec. That's, That's right. right. Then what? I tried to find the person who makes her work, but... Yeah? What happened? Before I could get my hand away, there was that... that awful shock. Well, 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 well what did you see? Well, did you see anybody? Nobody. They run without people. Those three machines really are alive. Hey, what was that she said about Directions Home? Oh, oh no, 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 you can't done. talk to us. The lights are out. Are you kidding? Those things couldn't tell us how to get anywhere. Why not? She said she was an expert in maps. Maps? Hey, man, you better put that back together and uh, see if it'll light up again. Don't do it. You're asking for trouble. Oh, all right. But it's just the machine. you. Hey, that was some shock you gave me. Well, of all the nerve, I didn't give you any shock. You did it yourself. You could have hurt us all very badly. Now, where was I? Oh, yes, the directions. If you want to go home. Home? Oh, boy. We can show you how. We want to be friends with you. What is this, anyway? This is a gesture of brotherhood between Technovec and Eric. We want you to love us. Thank you, Baby Vec. Thank you all. There's something funny about this. I don't trust them. Me neither. I wonder what they're up to. Papa Vec. Sigma Epsilon to the tenth power times the square root of Omega on Earth tangent. What kind of directions are those? They don't make any sense. Baby Vec, take the axis breeder by the capograph with the gamma decline transcending. She did it again. She spoke in a code. Just because you don't understand it doesn't mean it's a code. And now the result. Here you are. These directions should be perfectly clear. They sure are. Look, they fit together. Oh, oh thanks. thanks. Thanks a lot. Goodbye, Baby Vic. Bye. Thanks for the directions. Bye bye. Goodbye. Thank you, Family Sinkovec. Goodbye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Let's Thank you. Bye. You know, I wouldn't follow those directions for a million bucks. Why not? They're trying to trick us because of what I did to them. I think so too. It's a plot. Why should they help us? Maybe they just want to help us. They have feelings too. Well, I don't understand them. I only know they're clever, very clever, too clever. They want to confuse us, so we'll never get home. Well, I believe the think effects. They feel sorry for us because we're lost. Uh, how can you believe something that isn't human? It doesn't matter if they aren't human. They want to be friends with us. These are good directions. Well, I'm not going to follow them. I still think it's a plot. Those directions will lead us away from home. Wait a minute. If they're trying to lead us away from home, then we should turn the directions backwards. And do just the opposite of what they say. That way, we'd end up right back on Earth. Okay. Let's do it. Don't do it, Willie. Follow the directions. No. I thought it all out. We're going to use these directions backwards. Please, Willie. I want to go home. Now, 
ready for liftoff. Hooray! We're going home! We're going home. home! Please listen, we're making an awful mistake! To be continued. Next time, the end of the rainbow. Hi, I'm Larry Garcia, and my work is building all sorts of things out of wood. I'm a carpenter. I'm on my way to work right now. In my job, I get to build the frame and walls on houses and buildings. Carpenters use a lot of tools, like this tape measure. It's my most important tool. With it, I know how long boards should be so that I can cut them to the right size with my electric saw. Now that it's cut, I use my hammer to pound it into place. Everything we do has to be straight up and down, but it's hard to tell just by looking. So I use a leveler and it shows me when the board is just right. And to make a straight line, I use a chalk string pulled tight. I can mark a straight line really easy for the next wall. The backbone of a house is its frame. It has to be strong, straight, and well-made. If the frame is good, a home will last for a long time. Being a carpenter is good, hard work. And there is nothing like the feeling of standing back and seeing what you just built. It feels good. It feels good to know people are going to live in this house and that I did a good job for them. When I was in high school, I took a lot of classes in wood shop. It started out as a hobby for me, but I decided I liked working with wood so much that I became a carpenter, and it's still my hobby. I build many different things here at home in my workshop. This is a blueprint that shows me exactly how to build a special box to display a sculpture that I'm making for an artist friend of mine. When I choose the wood, I have to be very careful and make sure it's not warped or bent. Wood always comes in uneven sizes and I have to measure it and mark the right length for the box, the same as when I'm building a house. With this table saw, I can cut wood straight across or at an angle so that I can make the corners of the box match. To me, it's important to make my work look the best I can because it represents me. On this box, I won't use any nails. I'll use glue to hold it together. When it is finished, the neon light will go inside with a mirror on top. Besides making things for my friends, I like to build old-fashioned wooden toys because it's fun and I really like toys. This is a rocking horse. This is a bank that makes money disappear. is a jack-in-the-box. Bum, bada, bum, bum, bum. My name is Julia Scissor. And my name is Rubberhead. I can cut a piece of paper. I can draw on it with lead. I'm happy when I'm snappy. I'm fine for any line. If you learn the way to use it. You can have a real good time, rub-a-dub-dub. Uh-oh. Here comes the ruler. I'm footloose and fancy free. Ruler of all. That's me. A star is born. All right, all right. Don't just stand there. Get snapping. Hop to forward. Hotch. How about a halt? Now, this is an example of... of origami ruler. 
Right. Origami. That's... That's the art of paper folding. Right. The art of paper folding. The Japanese have always liked to work with paper, and when Japanese people started coming to the United States over a hundred years ago, they brought their traditions with them. I like to make things out of paper, too, like sailboats. And paper hats. And planes. Paper folding, as well as folding cloth, has been popular in Europe for a long time. It's fun to make a bird like this. What do we do? Take a piece of paper, make it eight inches square. Fold the bottom of the diamond to the top, up here. Flatten it out. What do you see? It looks just like a triangle to me. Fold up the bottom once again, an inch and a half. Right, and then... Turn your paper over. Okay, that's fine. Flip the flap up just above the line. Fold the figure over from left to right. Place it upside down. Man, that's out of sight. This is the place to exercise care. Get your trusty friends and make a line right there. Bend the paper up to the mark we made. Have the other side meet it. Don't be afraid. Now open it up. And upon my word, what do we see? Why, it's a bird. One more thing for us to do. There's your beak. That's it. We're through. Dynamite, Mr. Emeritus. Konnichiwa. Hey, I thought I heard that bird talk. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> Who ever heard of a talking bird? Who ever heard of a talking ruler? Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. That's Japanese for hello. Konnichiwa. Hello. Look, his wings are flapping. It's a sign he wants to go. Sayonara. That's Japanese for goodbye. Sayonara. 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 have stories listen to one now the Cherokee Comanche and Cree the Shawnee Snohomish and Sioux there is no single Native American culture no one Native American way of doing things Apache Mohawk Oneida the Native Americans come from many different nations and tribes. Each one different, individual, unique. Before the white man came, nearly a thousand languages were spoken in North America. More than all the languages of the old world put together. What happened when the people of one Native American tribe met the people of another? How did they speak to one another if their languages differed? They developed a very simple, and highly effective way of speaking called sign language. And it looked like this. Do you know what she's saying? Let's see if we can figure it out. I. Walking fast. Walking fast means running. Dear. I. Nine. Years. Native American. Girl. I. Go. House. White man. Look. This sign means it is in my heart or I know. All of these signs together. House. White man. Look, no, 
means school. In town. Sign language leaves out all the little words. We have to fill in those ourselves. But all the important words are there. Did you understand it? Let's try it again. Faster this time, and I'll fill in the little words as we go along. I am running deer. I am a nine-year-old Native American girl. I go to school in town. I sign language speak, meaning I talk in sign language. Sign language is like drawing pictures with your hands. Some signs are easy. This sign means horse. To make the sign for riding, make your finger look as if it were riding on your hand. This is the sign for old. And this is the sign for baby. Some signs are poetic. This means the earth is covered up. It's the sign for night. This is the sign for good. It means level with my heart. To say sad, make the sign for heart, then lower your hand, meaning my heart is on the ground. Some signs are fun. Put your hands up to your head with your fingers spread apart like antlers, and you've made the sign for deer. This is the sign for fish. And this means laugh. There are hundreds of words in sign language, but the Native Americans had no single word for hello. They would say something much nicer like, my heart is happy to see you nor did they have a word for goodbye. That's one sign they borrowed from the white man. Real people, I'd like to introduce you to some real people. my friend calls the Chinese Lion Dance, which has done at all kinds of celebrations. We're going to do it in the school show. <laughs> We're getting better. Oh, oh, I hope so. I really felt like a lion at the end. Are you sure you don't look like an elephant? No, we're getting better. You should see the big guys from Chinese school do the lion dance at the club. Chinese school? Yeah, after regular school, I gotta go to Chinese school. With teachers and everything? Yeah, we learn Chinese, and I belong to a club, the Dragons. Where is it? In Chinatown.
What's he doing here? He's my friend Carlos. What's that mean? That means he's my friend. You know only Chinese are allowed here. Where are the dragons? No law says I gotta have only Chinese for my friends. Boy, are you in trouble. So what am I supposed to do? Tell him to go home. Hey, Alex. He's doing the lion dance with me at the school show, so I brought him over to see you guys practice. The lion dance? He can't do the lion dance. He doesn't even know what a lion dance is. I'm not kidding. We've been practicing him for about two weeks, and besides, he likes to learn Chinese stuff. We gotta show him that you could do a lion dance. They're not gonna like it. Come on. Okay. from the Philippines. So let's start to make it. By all means, we need half a cup of sugar, brown or white. Three tablespoons of water. Have you got that right? And two cups of packaged coconut that's grated. Now we're ready to cook. Aren't you glad you waited? Now I know you know what the ingredients are, but you need one more before you start, you need an older person who knows what's what to help you out when the going gets hot. Now, boil the sugar and water to make a syrup. Stir it until it makes a thread when dropped from a spoon. Don't stop too soon. into the pan, then stir, stir, stir until it thickens and can make a ball when dropped from a spoon on a well-greased pan, but not too soon. Now let it cool and you're in for a treat. Coconut candy that can't be beat. American 
Americans from the Philippines say, Megaling, Megaling, which is their way of saying it's good. Really good, oh boy. So now that it's cool, eat and enjoy. Philippine coconut candy. Mm -hmm. Did you see that, Luther? What? Lily walked right by without speaking. Did you speak to her, Mary Frances? Of course not. Come on, come on, come on. 